hi friends this is subrat here and in this video i am going to discuss about what are some essential basic functionalities that we can perform upon my data structure objects so let's start so let us understand this with examples so before doing any operations we need to import our required libraries we need pandas and numpy libraries that's why i have imported here pandas and numpy libraries so let me import a data frame from my csv file i have a csv file in this location and i want to use that csv file to create my data frame object so that's why i am using the read underscore csv method so i'll explain in details about the read underscore csv method on future tutorials so as of now i'm just using it for reading a csv file or normal csv file so you can see pd dot read underscore csv the read underscore csp method will return a data frame object so that's why i'm storing it into a variable called df if you print that data frame df you will get a table like structure like this so here you will be having 20 rows and 9 columns so we will perform some basic functionalities upon this data frame object only so let us see what is my first functionality i can do suppose you want to check the head of your data frame in practical scenarios you will be having thousands or lakhs of records inside your data frame if you want to just get the glimpse of your record what are the values what are the column names and what type of values are present inside each column then you can use the head method on that scenario so head method will return you a top five records from your data frame object if you want to get the n number of records then you can pass the integer value inside the head method so here i have passed a head of seven that's why it is returning me the top seven records from your data frame object so same like you can get the tail of your data frame object that means you can get the bottom records from your data frame object so if you use the tail method it will return you the bottom five records from your data frame object here also you can pass the required number of records you want to fetch from bottom so here i want bottom seven records from my data frame object and that's why i'm passing seven here here you can see from 19 to 13th so let us see how we can get the shape of my data frame object that means how many number of rows i have and how many number of columns i have that also i can get so if you are using the shape keyword data frame dot shape keyword you will get the shape of your data frame object here i have 20 number of rows and 9 number of columns that's why it is giving me a tuple of 20 and 9 so here 20 is the row 9 is the column getting the total number of records inside my data frame object so here we have one more keyword for getting the total number of records its size you can use tf dot size you will get the total number of records so you can calculate 180 equal to 20 multiplied by 19 20 rows and 9 columns you have that's why you are getting total 180 records inside your data frame object also you can get what is the row index values you have in your data frame that means what is the start index and what is the end index values also you can get so my index value starts at 0 and ends at 20 so by using the index keyword you can get the index values also suppose you want to get how many number of columns you, you have and what are the column names then you can use the columns keyword to get those values so if you are using df dot columns you will get the number of columns you have inside your data frame object it will specify the column names in a list um, so friends these are some basic operations that uh, we can perform upon my data frame object so frequently i'll be using this operation in my future examples to explain about the data frame data structure i hope this concept is clear if you guys have any doubt regarding this you can leave a comment under my video thank you